Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video we'll be adding a new column in articles table which will be is active and which will be a boolean field. It will be either true or false or 0 or 1. So let's see how to do that using this pattern. So let us create a migration first. PHP artisan make migration add is active column in articles table. Now let me go to that articles table and here we'll say table boolean is active and default will always be false and guys this boolean will create a tiny integer in the articles table and in the down method let's say table drop column is active like this now we'll say psp artisan migrate and now if i go here in the database and just refresh over here is active is added over here and all have a default zero value now this is a boolean field and if we look here in the article we haven't added that and also if i show you here in this same model inside this fields there is no boolean field so let us create that boolean field so let me just duplicate this string field and let me say here boolean field and here we'll just return either true or false so let's say in array and here we'll say this value if this value is one then also we'll say it is a true and if it is a string one then we'll say true if it is true boolean then we'll say true also if it is true in a string then also we'll say true similarly for on and let's say for yes also we'll return true we'll consider all these as a true in our boolean field now let me go here in the article model and here i'll say here is active or let me just add it just before the image we can add it anywhere but i'd like to keep the files at the bottom so here i'll say boolean field and i'll say new like this and now guys let me go to the controller and here guys we'll just add is underscore active and we have to add this in our view as well so here in the dashboard you're just below the text area let me add name will be active and let me give it a value as one so whenever we check the checkbox it will share the value as one but if we don't write value one over here then it will just pass o and on so that's why i was writing here on as a true value and also let me give it a class over here and now guys if i go here in the browser and refresh the page we can see the checkbox over here but we can't see the label so here guys i'll say label like this and here i'll say active like this and let me remove this for from here and now guys and here we can see this active but we are seeing this submit button over here so to fix that i have to write this class over here so guys you can see here now and first let me show you by removing this is active from here and let's see what happens so here guys i'll just fill the form and fill this active as well and let me choose a file and click on submit now you can see here guys we are getting exactly the error message the field is active does not exist on the savable field method of the app models article this we already have seen before but also i wanted to show you guys this now let me go here and just uncomment it out and let me resubmit the form and guys here it is a success and if i come here in the browser just refresh it and let me go to the latest record over here and now here guys you can see here it is one which means that it is working perfectly fine and also let me show you without checking this checkbox so let me refresh the page over here fill the form and make it inactive let me select a file let me choose this one and submit and if i come here and refresh now you can see here guys you can get here as a zero now you have seen how powerful it is we don't have to write anything in the controller just add it over here the field name and the field type and then it will automatically work and yes we haven't seen what happens when we update our record and let's say we want to delete an image when we are updating the article then how to do it so let's do that now so to accomplish that let us go to the save model class 
So here guys, if we want to delete an image when we are updating a record, then we need to know whether we are updating or not first. And also we need to know the name of the column because the name of the column may be image or let's say photo or something like that. So it can be different for different models. So here we need to do a slight modification in the same model class. So here we'll just pass the column name and the model. So inside the field class, this abstract class will define two methods. And let's say those two methods will be, so here the field set value on column and we'll say column of model, let's say this. So we want the API to work like this and let me just add them in a different line. So now let's define these methods, this on column, this and we haven't defined this property over here, we'll just define it a little bit later. And let us also create this one like this. And let me import the model and let me define this model and column on top here. Since we have defined it inside this field, we can access it in every other this field classes because all of them extend this field. And let us also create a method to know whether we are updating or creating. So here we'll say here is update and here we'll say this model exists. So let's say whenever we are passing a new article object, then it will return false. And let's say we are finding an article. Let's say we are saying article colon colon find and giving one then it will return true, which means exist property will return true whenever we are updating a model. Otherwise, it will return false. And here, guys, it will be bool, not boolean. And, and let me define this abstract public function on the top so that it will be visible on top. Okay, so we have defined these things. And now let me go to image field. And here we'll delete the image if we are updating the article and we'll do that exactly over here because here we'll know that a new image is being uploaded because here we have checked if it is not the instance of uploaded file we'll just return it from here otherwise we'll proceed which means that a new file is being uploaded here and we'll see here if this is update then we'll say here storage and this will be a facade guys and I have imported it here so we'll say stories, delete, and we'll say this model. And here guys, we can get the column from this column. And now here we'll not say like this guys, so this column like this. Yes, it will give us the exact column that we want. But let's say a user has defined some accessor on the model, then it will give us the result of that accessor. But here we want the original value and we'll say here, get draw original and this column like this and on every model whenever we add a new image when updating then it will delete the original one but let's say in some cases we don't want to delete the previous image so for that also we'll add an option so here we'll say by default we'll say delete image and update as true like this and here guys we'll also check and this delete image and update. So if it is update and delete image and update is set true, then only we'll delete the previous image. And let us also add an option so that we don't want to delete this image on the update. So here, we'll say here, don't delete previous image like this. And here we'll say this, delete image on update equals to false and we'll return this now guys if i go here in the article so let me just write some code that whenever we upload a new file it will upload it as an original file name so here we'll say file name uploaded file and we'll return the file name original name like this so that we'll be able to see whether the file is being deleted or not by looking at its original name so now let me go to the browser let me fill the form and choose a file here. Let me say this VS code tip, okay? And now let me hit on submit. Now if I go here and if I show you here inside the public storage 
and VS code tip dash go to bracket file is over here. Okay, now let me go here in the database and refresh the page over here. Now you can see here guys, it's the article with the ID of 45 and you can see this image VS code tip go to bracket image over here. And here in the VS code in the articles controller, instead of passing new article, let us pass the article with the ID of 45. So here instead of new article, we'll say here 45 like this. And guys here, let us only pass the image here. Let's say request only image like this. Now if I come here in the browser, let me fill the form and let me choose a file. So here I'll choose HTML tip. So before it was VS code tip and now it is HTML tip. And now if I hit on submit and now guys, if I go here in the database, so closely look at this image here. Now you can see here guys, this has changed and we can see the new file name over here. And in the VS code also, if I show you here inside this images folder, so you can see here guys that VS code tip image has been deleted and this HTML tip is over here. Now. Here in the article model, let's say don't delete previous image like this. And here currently the previous image is this HTML tip. And let me go back and fill the form again. And now here guys, let me add this Laravel tip. And if I hit on submit now and in the database, if I refresh here, you can see here we are getting the new Laravel tip. But if we go here in the VS code, now you can see here guys, we are seeing this HTML tip as well as Laravel tip. So in this way, we can make sure that previous image is deleted or not. So now we have come to the end of this series and guys, I have also created a package for this. And if you want to use that package, I'll leave the link just below that like button. You can just click on that package and you can install via Composer. I hope this series was really, really helpful for you guys and you learn a lot from this series. Not only you, but me personally also learned a lot of things when I created this series. So it is both of us that we learned. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.